Welcome to Arma Reforger. So, this map, Everon, will be familiar to anyone who's ever played Cold War Assault or Operation Flashpoint. So I only started playing Arma with Arma 2, so I don't know much about this map besides from what pictures have shown me. But, the map itself in the game is gorgeous. You can see all the interiors of buildings are now all laid out. There's a lot of quality of life changes that I'll go over and then I'll show some live gameplay and stuff. And uh, yeah, unfortunately I was not able to play with anybody though due to time zones. So I'm hoping when the game comes out I can play with uh, TCS and some other buddies. So yay, let's get right into this. So Arma Reforger runs on Infusion. Bohemia's new engine that we saw traces of with uh, DayZ uh, standalone. And in this one, you can see it in its full glory. You can now even use the workbench and just make whatever you want. You can make mods, you can make even full games according to the documentation on their website at some point. So yeah, the great thing about Arma is that it's a sandbox at heart. And whatever you want to make, you can do it yourself. And if you're not satisfied with one approach, you can always mod and make your own. It's just, it's wonderful. Sandboxes are great though. I don't usually do commentaries, but in this case, I felt like I had to because this is Arma, baby. This is the next Arma game. And I had to do this. The biggest obvious change to me is the uh, no more scroll wheel. There's no more action menu. Now everything's in the game. It's all contextual. So if you want to switch seats, you have to actually look at the seat to switch. Or if you want to turn on the light, you have to actually look at your Jeep and turn on the light by looking at it. You start the car, you have to start the engine by looking at it. But there is kind of a scroll wheel in the game where you have to uh, scroll wheel to switch seats when you're entering, say, BTRs or uh, other vehicles. And uh, yeah, it's really neat, though. They're trying to keep the UI elements in the game. And that's a great change, I think. What sort of quality of life changes are there? Anything that involves like compass or the map, you actually take it out. Your character takes it out to look at it, like the compass, watch, map, uh, grenades, whatever. Everything is all taken out in your hand. And it's uh, it gives it fills with a more immersion in the game. And you can even see this from other people doing it. So uh, that's a great change, I think. There is also a new inventory system. There also seems to be a new system around based on building uh, stuff in their new game mode conflict. So, uh, logistics is going to be more important in this, it seems, and uh, it reminds me of Squad in that regard, where you collect supplies. Though I hope that they add more animations when you're collecting stuff and uh, building stuff, that'd be, because that'd be great. There is also now an in-game radio system that ties directly into the game mode, and will probably be modded to be used with other stuff. So, Zeus has been revamped, and now it is called Game Master, for example, and stuff that you put down is now, like, ploppable. You can, uh, when you put down vehicles on top of each other, they don't blow up instantly like they do in the uh, previous Arma. And you can just place down stuff and it, it works. It's great. For example, I spent one hour making this camp. And it was really cool to adjust and spend time on building a proper looking army camp. And then I deleted it. But yeah, the sheer amount of stuff you can build with a Game Master is really nice. I used I used uh, Game Master to make a Stairway to Heaven. I used it to build a row of toilets because why not? Because we always need more bathrooms in life. Of course, as this is an armor game and it's an early access, there will be some bugs, so don't be surprised by the... Uh, stuff that's missing and uh, sites that are missing and bugs and all that. So how's the performance of Arma Reforger? So it seems to be pretty good from what I can tell. There's even uh, AMD FSR which allows you to basically run the game at higher frame rate. And I've tried putting, of course I tried maxing out the amount of AI and Game Master to see how what happens. And the frame seems to be pretty decent actually. I'm curious to see how this holds up though with uh, 80 players or something on a server with 200 AI. So, uh, yeah, instead of just hosting it off my machine. Sorry, I had to do one good ta-ta-ta-ta. 
Oh, there's destructible fences now. Oh, as I said that. Skip the drive? Why would I do that? I want to see this landscape. This is Everon. Man. I have they remastered the whole thing. You can flush the toilet? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's unavailable, too, so you can't even press it right away. You gotta wait for it to refill. <laughs> but you can't even wash your hands. What's the point of a flush the toilet then you don't wash your hands? Icky. You. And it's available again. That's great, but you can't do anything else with that. Or a desk handle. Let's try this. Oh, I can see my tongue. This is wonderful. Oh, jeez. This thing handles. With supplies. That is cool, baby. And I can change my animations while holding the F key. That is super good. Alright, so I gotta take this to Alaska. Okay, it's gonna be a bit of a drive to get to Alaska. I'm pretty sure that's Nowhere near Evron, but what do I know? Look, as a pog, we just fall orders, okay? We can't do anything about it. Hey, there's my body. Oh my god, seeing these walls are so nostalgic. It'd be cool if I could do some sort of animations for it. Okay, the compass needs to be a little bigger, especially for somebody like me with my 144GP monitor. I can read it like this, I guess. That's not good. I just trying to test this out, okay? Huh? Budget has been reached? I need more than that. Come on. You gotta give me something here. Why can't I increase my budget? Damn it. I need a bigger budget. <laughs> Giving me. The editor there was a big mistake. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, I'm fine. Ah, uh, damn it. They stopped moving forward. I like how they actually filled... They made this... The interiors actually look like they have some sense. Like, there's rugs! There's rugs! Wow, this is cool. This is... Looking good, looking good. Look at this room. Can't wait for Arma Life to use this.
Okay. I don't like the. I don't think this is how BTRs are supposed to work. I'm no expert, though. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments. Oh, yeah, there's ragdolls. I forgot. So what are my conclusions of Armory Forger? Well, currently, it's a very good... Uh, it's a solid base. Right now, we only have light vehicles, trucks, jeeps, Humvees. Uh, UACs and one BTR, but we don't have artillery, we don't have track vehicles, we don't have helicopters. So content-wise, I hope that they bring along future stuff on a uh, steady fashion. And in many ways, this reminds me of Stratus in the release from uh, early Arma 3. I do very much like the fact that they focused on putting out the workbench immediately, as, long, as well as uh, showing off the workshop and everything in the corner. So it's cool that we have this focus, because, well, it makes sense since Arma is a sandbox game. So this caters to everyone, essentially. So if you don't like something out of the vanilla game, you can wait for mods to uh, help your experience, making you more immersed into your game. And uh, yeah, because ultimately, at the end of the day, Arma is whatever you want it to be. Hope you guys enjoyed my uh, brief video on Reforger, and I can't wait to make more uh, content on this. Thank you for watching. Take care, and uh, peace out.